Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're gonna to smoke some Wagyu beef ribs that John from Midland Beef Company out of Midland, Texas sent to us. I'm gonna give you a close up in just a minute. But if you get a chance, go out to uh, Midland Beef Company and check them out. They got a great line of products. So we're gonna get started. Uh, Mason, my son, is with me today. He's gonna to be my assistant again. So let's go ahead and get these seasoned up and get them on the grill. All right guys, I just want y'all to see, look at the marbling in these ribs. That is, they are beautiful. They're awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Mason, go ahead, buddy. He's gonna put some olive oil on us, on it, on the ribs. Put a little bit more on there. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna, let me rub this on. We're gonna use olive oil. Put that all on both sides. All right, put me some on this side, buddy. All around. Okay, guys, what we're gonna do today, we're gonna use two types of rub. We're gonna be using uh, products from Heaven Made Products. Again, this is the, it's incredible. This is gonna be our first layer. So, let's go ahead and do this side first. These are thick, so I'm gonna put them all around the sides and all. Okay. All right, just gonna kinda of pat it in. Not gonna rub it, just pat it all in. We're gonna probably let these sit for an hour till um, I wanna get them to room temperature and the next seasoning, the next layer we're going to use, we're just going to use two layers. This is also by Heaven Made Products. This is their Texas uh, Beef Brisket Rub. Um, so this is going to be our next layer. I'll probably put this on a little heavier. Uh, you don't really have to worry about too much on the back, but I'll put it a little heavier on the top where the meat, more the meat is. You are going to get it all the way around again. Okay, so we got a good coating on it. We're gonna let it sit again for about an hour. Let it get at the room temperature really well. We're cooking this on the Green Mountain Grill. So guys, we'll see you out in a little bit um, when we get the grill up to temp. Okay guys, yeah, we're cooking this on the Green Mountain pellet grill. Get these on. We're cooking this at 285. We're gonna leave it on there for about three hours kind of see where we're at then and then if we're at the tent we want to be at we'll go ahead and wrap them and put some uh like some beef stock in there so we'll see you back in a little bit guys all right guys ribs are coming along nicely uh, i just want to kind of give them a instant read right now kind of see where we're at uh, I think we're at the point right now. I know we're at the point right now. We want to go ahead and wrap them. I wanted to show you guys this uh, new instant read thermometer, a thermocouple thermometer from Maverick that they sent me. Uh, this is a very, very neat um, instant read thermometer. It's, it's very accurate. Um, you've got um, on this side over here, you've got a little latch that you just flip up and you can just pull it out. But this also, it's almost like an army swish knife here. Um, if you can see, it's got uh, a couple of uh, tools. It's got a corkscrew, it's got a knife, it's got a, uh, a screwdriver. So this is really coming handy. So uh, let's go ahead and kind of see where we're at right quick. Okay, we're, we're where we want to be, I, I'm right around 165. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these. All right guys, we got them off the grill. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and wrap them in some foil. Go ahead and turn them this way. And what I like to do 
is add about a cup of beef stock. So right here's gonna allow it to braise. Try to wrap it up as tightly as you can. I like to double wrap just in case you got some big bones in here, so you don't want to talk to the full. Just be careful. All right. Okay, guys, let's get this back on the grill. And again, we're looking for an internal temperature around 2 to 205. All right, guys, we're going to check these ribs out one more time to kind of see where we're at. They've been wrapped for about another hour. So we're looking again for around 205. And it went right through. Yeah, we're at 204. Yeah, we're where we need to be at. So we're going to take these off and put them in a cooler and let it rest for another hour. Here is our ribs, our Wagyu ribs. We cooked them for about five hours, um, almost six, and um, put it, cut it in the cooler for about an hour, wrapped, and let it rest for about 10 minutes out. So we're gonna cut them in two now. Let's see how we look here. And they're basically falling off the bone. Yep. Bone's coming off. You can see the juice. Juice, look at that. So moist. Let's give this a try. All right, guys, here we go. Just have to go right on in it, I guess. It's, it's so thick. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is so delicious. Uh, the seasoning from Heaven Made Products, again, I use, it's incredible, as well as their brisket um, seasoning. Great, great. They were awesome together. Uh, it's, there's two layers on the ribs. The ribs are just super moist, super tender. Um, basically, as you probably saw, they fell off the bone. Uh, this is not competition, this is just backyard good home cooking guys uh, if you're watching for the first time i thank you so much be sure to subscribe and hit that bell um, we'll have plenty more videos coming ahead and i hope that you will stick with us uh, tell all your friends and thank you so much guys god bless